So far, the conditional statements we have created only have two possible options for what to do. Let's call them option number one and option number two. If a condition is true, like the user entered correct username and password, the program will let the user sign in based on option number one. But if the condition is false, like the user has incorrect username or password, then the program will not let the user sign in based on option number two. And display a reminder message like, please provide valid username or password. But what if there are many different options, not just two? For example, when it comes to plan our weekend, our first step might be to find out what the weather is like. Based on that, we could plan our weekend activity. For example, if it's sunny, we can go hiking. If it's snowing, we can go skiing. If it's raining, we can stay at home and watch movie. We can't do all three at the same time, only one and each option is based on its condition, such as if it's sunny, if it's snowing, if it's raining. JavaScript also includes a way for a program to provide multiple options for what to do using what's called an else if clause. Let's learn and practice how it works. To code along with me, first download the course folder from the link in the description below, unzip it and open it with your favorite code editor. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code. From the course folder, open the exercise folder called JavaScript Conditional Statements. And then open the index.html file using Google Chrome. Here I'll also open the JavaScript console. In the index.html file, remember the link elseif.js file. So elseif works like this. We start with an if statement, then add an elseif clause, which provides another condition to test. So now we have two conditions. If the first one is true, then the codes inside this block runs. Let's call this option number one. However, if the first condition is false, then we test the second condition. If the answer to that condition is true, then the code inside this block runs. Let's call this option number two. And one thing to keep in mind is that the second condition is not tested if the first condition is true. We'll only get to the second condition if the first condition is false. Now, if neither of the conditions are true, we might want to provide a fallback. Option number three, so that the program does something. We can do this by adding an else clause to the end. Notice how there's no condition for this last part. However, the code block at the end only ever runs if all the conditions above are false. And there's no limit to the number of else if clauses we can add. But remember that we must start with an if statement and end with an else clause. So now there are three conditions and four possible options for what to do. And keep in mind that as soon as one condition is true, the code for that condition runs and all the following conditions, including the very last else clause, are skipped. Now, let's see how we might use this conditional statement in a program. Earlier, I mentioned examples of activities we can do based on weather conditions. For example, if it's snowing, we could go skiing. Our first step might be able to find out what the weather is like. Based on that, we could plan our weekend. And in the first condition, I'll check if weather is strictly equals sunny. If it's sunny, log the message, it's sunny, so I'm going for hiking. In the first else if clause, I can check if weather is strictly equals raining. And if it's raining, log the message, it's raining, so I'll stay at home and watch movie. In the next else if clause, I can check if weather strictly equals snowing. And if so, then log the message it's snowing, so I'm going for skiing. Now, the else block at the end only ever runs if all three conditions above are false. In that case, log the message, I don't have any plan today. Before testing this code, I need to create the weather variable and assign it either sunny, raining or snowing. I'll try raining first. I'll save the change. Refresh the page. And over in the console, since weather equals raining, so I see the message 
It's raining, so I'll stay at home and watch movie. I'll try sunny. Then snowing. And it works. Now, if I update the value of weather to foggy, or anything other than sunny, raining or snowing, for example, the console displays, I don't have any plan today. So that is how else if clause make your program more flexible.